Good morning. I believe it's uh, isn't that right? Yeah, it's the sixth of August, I believe. Yeah. Look, hey, this morning we're going to start out. I didn't do a show the other day, but the first thing I want to say is, you know, so many people and people close to me have thanked me so much and how important this show is. But what was funny is when I needed some people just to share my show, some of them were scared to do it, didn't want to do it. You know what I got to say for you people right there? You get what you deserve. Don't ever call me and want anything. I don't mind sticking my neck out here for everybody. But honestly, if you're sick of this kind of stuff, but you won't even share my videos, you're part of the problem. And don't call me crying about what you want to know, because these videos got all you need to know. I actually read the documents. Some people don't like my language. Well, I, I, if they like this, uh, mislike this behavior and dislike all this stuff that's happening, more than worried about how I say it, we'd probably be a lot better off. But we're going to get back to where we are today because we're in the standoff. And the commissioners have got their sales, all of them, they've lost control of your county. They're not in charge of it. They can only tell this guy and this guy that they're dissatisfied with him. Everybody else can give the finger to the commissioners because none of the directors report to them because of this circus show that Larry's created. This is quite possibly the worst thing that ever happened to Walton County. This is Mr. Corruption himself. Okay, Stan was already in trouble and we've gone over that crap of what Mr. Sunday's doing, but evidently they're having a standoff of lawyers. And the reason is, is because these, be, these people didn't do their job. Larry and Stan, and listen to this, there should be a criminal investigation. Stop all that HR stuff. Hey, listen. Y'all won't worry, have to worry about Larry's health benefits because they got him for free in prison and that's where he should be. This man has covered up $20, $30 million in fraud. Uh, Grand Boulevard Sandestin is completely out of drainage standards and Mr. Howard, you can sue me too. I don't really care. And Mr. Becknell, this is Mr. Odom, Mr. Becknell and Mr. Howard's Heavy guy right here. I met with Jay Odom one time. He said, I have to have Larry Jones in office when he was a commissioner. Why was that, Jay? It makes the rest of us fucking sick. You know, I'm just sick of this. And you people that are scared of your own shadow, don't ever call me when I hang it out like you and actually read the documents. Just keep going. So Stan's got a lawyer. The commission, want, Stan's completely should have been fired. But guess what? Only Larry can fire him right now. And they won't fire Larry until Larry files, fires Stan. That's their thought process because if we fire Larry, Stan might be in charge, you morons. Listen, fire Larry today, fire him. And then appoint an administrator, whoever y'all file can temporary and it better not be some crook and immediately launch an investigation into the administration section. And then let Stan and Dee, Dee do whatever they want. They can run in circles, Dee, Dee. I'm coming after you, Dee, Dee Brooks. You're as big a problem as everybody and you should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you ever come to an event. I'm gonna look at you and go, you're a crook, just like Mike Barker. You guys are just sitting there. There should be an investigation on what these people the fraud, the selective enforcement, the directing of staff not to enforce the rules are all centered around this guy. And these people don't have any control over. Listen, fire this guy. Let him get a lawyer. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. Y'all keep thinking y'all can deal with this in the back room. You can't. It just gets worse. It's ridiculous. All you got to do is fire this joker in public, appoint a temporary administrator, could ask the governor for, they don't want to investigate. Listen, these guys don't want to investigate. They just want to sweep him under the rug. And this man may have cost in excess of $20 million of taxpayer money by telling people to lie. I've got several letters and the commissioners have them too. 
where Larry was told by the staff they were breaking the law and Larry didn't do anything. He didn't even tell the commissioners or maybe he did hand to hand, just walking in there and go, hey, you know, but Larry the liar has struck again and the county is paralyzed by Larry the liar. This guy is just scum and that's all he'll ever be. God, I pray for him to go on and pass. But fire him. If he needs health care, you can give it to him in prison. This one, too. I wouldn't be negotiating one bit with Stan Sunday. He created a job for an alcoholic that the commissioners didn't. And then he didn't compete it. He just gave it to him. And then when the guy was doing the wrong thing, him and Diddy and everybody else tried to cover it up. Yeah, just like they did the, the attorney and Boots. This thing is so ugly, we're going to go with the Stonewall Jackson defense. And that's the common Larry tactic. Delay, delay, delay. Everybody just hold. Everybody just hold. The wall hasn't collapsed. The wagons are still circled. Everybody just hold. Act like nothing happened. Bullshit. It happened. You're a crook. And you're the worst thing that ever happened to this county right here. Fire his ass today. Fire him. Hold him responsible. Hold Mac responsible. They What, the laws don't apply to them? They don't apply to you, commissioners? Yeah, Boots ain't said crap neither. This is pathetic. And it falls on your shoulders. And y'all can get cocky all you want. There's going to be some ethics complaints coming down. I promise you that. So just keep doing nothing. That's your Friday, 6 August show. And to all you people scared to share my show off of YouTube, <laughs> you get what you deserve. I'm Alan Osborne. Y'all keep them straight out there. And if you ain't got the guts to do what I'm doing, then don't be critical of it. If, you, if you're not intelligent enough to read Thou shall not, and you're a commissioner, that's your own damn fault. Boy, y'all sure figure out a lot of other stuff. Larry failed to train you. Larry set you up. Larry didn't do what he was supposed to, and Larry lied to you about laws and compliance, and he covered things up. Firing. On Friday, on the Alan Osborne Show. Y'all keep them straight out there, and if you can't be straight, you should run for commissioner.